Hello beautiful people and welcome to Yoga with Kancha. My name is Kancha and welcome to this yoga channel. You are here on day 22 everyone. Welcome day 22 of our 30 day challenge. Okay so today we're going to have an amazing feel good flow. So let's begin in tabletop. Alright so go ahead and find the position. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. And let's just start with a few rounds of cat-cow. Drop the belly, take a deep breath in. Exhale, round the spine. Let's go ahead and tuck the toes, extend the legs, and come right into down dog. All right, take a moment to pedal out the feet, bend one knee at a time while dropping the opposite heel. Good, let's go ahead and walk the hands to the back of the mat, coming into a nice forward fold. can reach for the elbows and just let your body hang nice and low. Shake out the head. Sway the body left and right. Just breathe right here. Good. Bring your hands to the shins and let's lengthen up halfway. All right, let's hold it right here. See if you can gaze just directly down, right? Down with your eyes kind of meeting the floor right where your eye level is, right when you look down. And then bring the chin in toward the chest. Lift through the back of the neck. Lengthen the spine. Good, let's take another breath right here. Good, we're gonna fold it out, let it go. Good, let's press up. Roll the spine up to seat to standing. Inhale, reach up high. Good. Let's cactus the arms and fold it forward. Let it go. Good. Let's lengthen up halfway once more. This time bring your hands to prayer or sweep the arms wide and let's hold it here. Good. Let's take a few breaths right here. Good. Two more breaths. Good, let's fold it forward. Reach for your ankles and then fold the belly down toward the thighs even closer. Good, let's press up, inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold, let it go. Good, let's walk the hands forward and come right into down dog. Good, press into the toes and lift the heels up here. Good, let's drop the heels all the way back down. Good, let's go ahead and bend the knees and come right into tabletop. And then we're gonna sink the hips back and just take a child's pose. Good, on your next breath in, let's come right up into tabletop. We're gonna slide the hips forward and down. So let the hips drop down here. And then what we're gonna do is just take the right hip to the right edge of the mat. And let's do the same thing with the left side. Left hip to the left edge of the mat. And let's just take a few left and right here. Okay, we're just stretching the hips a little bit differently than we've done. All right, let's just take a few rounds. Good. Ah, good. Beautiful, let's come right back into tabletop. All right, so let's take the left leg out, extend it. Press the heel up to the ceiling. Let's lift the leg up as high as you can. Good, and then let's reach the right arm forward. All right, so opposites here. So we're gonna pull the knee in toward the nose and pull the elbow toward the knee. Round the spine and let's kick it back up. Good, so we're getting into balancing and also a little bit of core here, okay? 
five more. One more here. Exhale forward. Inhale, extend. And let's drop it down to tabletop. Good. Let's just take a child's pose. Just let the body release, revive. Good, let's come right up the tabletop and let's just take that right leg out, extend it long. All right, press the heel up to the ceiling. See if you can point the toes down and then reach the left arm forward. All right, let's hold it right here. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, bend the knee to the elbow. Elbow to the knee. Good, come back up, inhale. Exhale for five. Inhale. Exhale for four. Good, for three. Good, two more. Good, last one. Good, let's extend it long and then let's drop it into tabletop. Take a child's pose. Just let it go. Good, let's round the spine up to tabletop. And then again, let's drop the hips forward and down. We're just stretching the abdomen, which we just pretty much warmed up and got a little bit of muscle going there, but uh, just gonna stretch it out a little bit. Good, let's go ahead and take a child's pose one more time. Good, let's round the spine up to a seated position. All right, so I'm gonna keep my legs here in Virasana. Okay, but you can cross the legs if it's more comfortable, okay? And there's so many cars driving by, you guys. I hope you can hear me okay. All right, but I will try to find a better, more clear spot next time, but you know how it is. <laughs> so we're gonna place the palms on the thighs, and then let's just take big circles with the spine. Big circles. Good. Let's go ahead and actually, let's take a little bit more of a deep stretch. So cross the legs, and I'll face you so you can see this. We're going to take the right hand down, reach that left arm all the way up and over. Deep stretch here. Good. Let's go ahead and bring it back to center. Drop the left hand, right arm's going to reach up and over. Good, let's take a few. Just move it at your own pace. And I want you to just tune in to whatever you need and just move it as slow or as fast as you like. Let's just take a few rounds here. Just like that. Good. Good, let's bring it back to center and just roll the shoulders out. Maybe roll the neck out as well. If you have any tension in the neck, just begin to breathe into it. Loosen it up. Allow it to just let go. Good. So what we're going to do here is let's go ahead and bring the legs nice and wide. We're going to bring the feet very wide, the legs nice and wide. All right, so let's point the toes toward the body and then point the toes forward and then back. Just take a few rounds here. Just kind of forward and backward. Okay, good, good. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna lengthen the spine and just fold forward just a little bit. All right, we're gonna go in all directions, but just for now, just taking a nice little forward fold here. All right, so take it as low as what feels good for you. Just getting as deep as your edge. Take a few breaths here. Good, and then with your arms on the legs, just slide them down the legs to get a little deeper. We're gonna take the left arm and take it down the right, the left leg, so you're reaching for the calf or the ankle, and then just reach that right arm up and over. And then take a breath into your right side. Take a breath into your hips. Take a breath into your back. Good, let's take it over to the other side. Just the same thing on the other side. So right arm slides down, left hand reaches up and over. 
Good. Just breathe steady here. Mm, beautiful. Maybe take one more round on each side. Maybe it'll let you get a little bit deeper. Maybe it'll just be really nice here. Good. Right side this time. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and bring the body back to center, still with the legs nice and wide. And we're just going to fold down and just sway the body left and right. So let the head shake out. Let the body release. Notice that you can go a little bit deeper every time you breathe. Seriously, you can loosen up a lot by just holding your holding the pose while breathing. Okay, not holding your breath, but holding the pose while breathing. All right, so let's take a few moments of just inspired movement. Beautiful. Good. Let's bring the body back up to center. Going to interlace the fingers and just flip the palms forward. Going to reach the arms up high. Take a deep breath in. Good. Let's go ahead and take the hands behind the back. Clasp the fingers together. Lift the chest and then let's fold it out. Good. Let's come back up. All right, you can keep your legs like this, or you can cross them, right? Whatever is better for you. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cross the arms. We're gonna take the right arm underneath the left. Now, if this is a lot, just reach for the shoulders. But from here, let's drop the elbows down and let's fold forward. Two more breaths. Good. Let's come right up here. And all we're going to do is unhook the arms, open up. Good. If you are cross leg, switch the leg, switch which leg is underneath. All right. And then we're going to take the left arm and just cross it underneath the right here. All right. Let's lift the elbows and then fold it out. Forward fold. Four breaths here. Okay, yogis, you got this. Good, yogis, nice work. Let's come right back up, inhale, reach the arms, let's swirl out the wrists. All right, if you guys have heard of, what is his name? Oh, Sadhguru. I think it's in Sadhguru, yeah. But he says, ball the hands into fists and swirl out the wrists. This is really good for the joints in your hands, your wrists, and your elbows. All right, so let's inhale, extend. Exhale, bend it back in. Good, inhale, reach the arms up high. Exhale, bend it back in. Good. Let's switch the rotation of the wrist. Whatever way you are going, go the opposite way. And then let's extend the arms. Inhale. Exhale, bring it back in. Good. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring it in. Good. Good. Let's come right into that seated position. We're going to extend the legs down the mat. All right. We're going to sweep the arms up. Inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Good. Let's come right up to seated. Good. We're going to take the left ankle over the right thigh. So it's pretty much we're going to be doing a seated figure four. You're going to love this. Okay, so bend your right foot in, and then let's hold it right here. You should get, feel a pretty nice stretch maybe a little sensation in the left hip. Okay, so if you want to take it deeper, bring your belly toward the legs. Lengthen the spine and bring it closer together. Let's take a few breaths here, maybe three or four breaths. Okay, let's hold it right here. Good. Let's go ahead and extend that right leg, and then let's extend that left leg, and 
then we're going to take the right ankle, this time over the left thigh, and bend into that left knee. Going to take maybe six or seven breaths here. Just holding it right here. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Good. Let's extend that left leg down the mat and let's take the right leg down as well. Okay, so we're going to bring the feet together, let the knees fall open, and we're just going to fold forward into this. All right, so let your body release. seated inhale and let's come right onto the spine yogis laying down on the back all right so let's take a one one or maybe a few rounds of bridge pose all right so fingertips touching the heels let's press into the feet and lift the hips up nice and high good and then let's lower down okay yogi so we're going to be using the breath let's inhale on the way up exhale on the way down Good. Inhale up. Exhale for five, lowering the hips. Inhale, lifting. Exhale for four. Inhale. And lower for three. Two more yogis. Lifting here. Good. One more. Let's hold it right here. Let the neck the back of the neck melt down. Let the eyebrows relax. Take a moment right here. One more breath. Good. Let's reach the arms high overhead. Lower the hips all the way down. Gonna heel toe the feet nice and wide to the width of the mat. And then let the knees drop to the left and then the right. Just breathe into it here. Good. Let's go ahead and bring the knees into the body. Give yourself a big squeeze. You can pull your face in toward the knees. Let the head drop back and then reach for the feet for happy baby pose. Just rocking left and right, left and right. Good. You can reach for the inner arches of the feet and take a wide stretch. Good. Let's pull the legs back in. Interlace your fingers over your left shin. Let your right leg extend down the mat. Okay, gonna pull that left leg in. Squeeze the, squeeze the knee in toward the armpit. Good, and let's take that left leg over to the right side. Gonna take a spinal twist here. Can let the left arm extend. Take a breath into the left side. Just connect right here, right now. Just soften into the breath and just breathe into your wonderful body. Good. Let's bring it back to center. You can realign the spine and pull that right knee in toward the shoulder. Squeeze it in as, as much as you can, as much as what feels comfortable, right? We're giving a little bit of compression to the organs and all of that good stuff. All right, and then let's take that right leg over to the left side and twist it out.
good. Let's go ahead and release the body right back to center. Bring your palms to the belly and just relax right here. Begin to wake back up into your physical body. Wiggling your toes, wiggle your fingers. Reach your arms high overhead, take in a full breath of air and a full body stretch. Then we're gonna bend the knees and bring them into the body. And let's come right up to a seated position. Take a deep breath in right where you are. As you exhale, just feel your body connecting. Feel your body connected to the breath. Feel your body connected to your spirit, that internal voice, that clarity within. Good. Bring the palms together right in the center of the chest. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining me. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you all tomorrow for day 23. Have a wonderful rest of your day. My name is Kancha. Namaste. Don't forget to like this video and give me a little thumbs up to show your support. Make sure to subscribe to this yoga channel and hit the notification bell, which is right next to the subscription label. All right, so I will see you all very soon. Namaste.